And presumptive Labor leader Anthony Albanese has drawn the battle lines with the government on tax cuts, saying he would consider passing the government's tax plan, but only if the bill is split. The Finance Minister says that won't be happening. Political reporter James O'Doherty is in Parliament House. James, uh, the tax cuts for Labor are an interesting proposition because you've got the one they're very much uh, happy to pass, and the other one, well, Anthony Albanese is lukewarm on at best. Well, that's right, Tom. Anthony Albanese says that he's open to passing uh, tax cuts. It's in this term of Parliament. We know that Labor was uh, happy to pass uh, uh, tax cuts for lower-income people, but they did raise concerns with uh, some of the government's higher-income tax cuts, the tax cuts that would see the 32.5-cent uh, uh, threshold uh, scrapped, meaning that people between... Uh, earning between $45,000 and $200,000 were on the same income tax threshold, that 30 per cent threshold. This was a matter of concern for Labor during the campaign. This morning, though, the presumptive uh, Labor leader, Anthony Albanese, has said that he would look at the government's tax cuts, but, as I say, only the ones that are uh, set down for this term of Parliament. Will you at least support the government's legislation for tax relief for Australians? Well, it's, a, it's a question I want to ask. <laughs> Let me tell you, we will support any proposal for this term. For this term. That so they you have won't a mandate back for. the second and third no, we'll, tax we'll cuts? No, we'll consider that. But let me tell you, it is a triumph of uh, hope over experience and reality but isn't that, that the government knows, the government knows what the economic circumstances are in 2025 or... Anthony Albanese saying that the uh, Labor would consider backing these tax cuts, but only if the bill is split, because there are some tax cuts that they don't want to pass. Matthias Cormann says, well, that's not going to be happening. No, we will not split the bill. It is a holistic plan. Uh, it is a plan to provide income tax relief uh, to all uh, working Australians. It prioritises low- and middle-income earners in the first instance, but it also addresses bracket creep. Uh, and it simplifies our tax system. It can't be taken apart. It can't be dealt with uh, in bits and pieces. It will be put to the parliament as a whole. James, in the perfect juxtaposition for the government, while you've got Labor talking a lot about itself this week, the PM touring flood-affected farms in Queensland, fulfilling a pledge that he made before the election, win or lose. That's right. Scott Morrison uh, visiting Cloncurry, echoing the first stop that he made when he became Prime Minister. When he did uh, take over as Prime Minister, he promised the people of Cloncurry, the people who were affected by those terrible floods in uh, central Queensland there, that he would come back and, and visit them to see how things were going on, whether or not he won the election. Now he has, and he has travelled up again to Cloncurry to fulfil that pledge after the government spent around $3 billion in assistance to help these farmers that had uh, so many issues with those floods, with uh, cattle dying and the like. Scott Morrison even getting a bit emotional on his visit this morning. Yeah. So I hope you all enjoy that as a memento of your visit here. And, and just a, a small thank you for the support that you've given us, which has been absolutely wonderful. Well, thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you, Rob. Um, this is a bit emotional coming back. Now you've got me going. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's quite overwhelming, but um, just to come back and see the spirit, that's what I love. As you say, Tom, perfect just position from uh, the government with the Prime Minister visiting flood-affected farmers and the Labor Party still talking about itself.